Hello? Hello? This thing on? So I don't know where I am. I just teleported here. My name's Erwin Schwab. I don't know who even lives here. Whoever this guy is is super nerd. I'm always thinking of those painting and comic books and everything. Um well, I'm Erwin Schwab. I see a book here. This is Ambush Bug. That's me. Okay, this is, I guess, about me. Um, you know, my good buddy, Keith Giffen, just passed away. And I thought maybe I should just come and teleport to this dimension and share with you all on this phone, I guess. What the hell? Know what is going on? Um, look, share with you my thoughts on Ambush Bug. Me, I guess. Share with you know, friend of Superman and others and Justice League. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, Keith Giffen, bless his heart, rest in peace, created me, I think, the pinnacle of character creation. The best of all his creations, better than the Legion of Superheroes by far. I was the most popular character in DC at one point, to the point they made multiple miniseries and one shots. And if it wasn't for Julie Schwartz and others, perhaps I would be doing more. Who knows? Maybe they'd make a movie for me. The true hero of the DCU. Or MCU, I don't know. Um, let's just take a look at this amazing piece of literature. I will call this literature. Let's just take a look at this and see what's up. Let's do it. Welcome. The Ambush Bug Show. Okay, now I don't know what kind of a nerd decided they needed to, you know, create a personalized hardcover with uh, myself on the cover by the way lobo i don't think so the the main the main man the main bastiche keith giffen okay his main contribution in our society is m the creation of me ambush bug okay and that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the first of many there were two separate four-part miniseries we're going to do the first one Actually, the second one was a six part. But just to recap, for those of you who don't know my illustrious past, I started in Action Comics, issue 560, which back then was 75 cents. Can we just agree the 2D logo is the best logo, okay? Stop with the weird 3D logo, okay? Um, Ambush Bug, created by who? Who's that say? Keith Giffen, that's right, my buddy, Keith. He's got his wings. Um, so this was the first issue. We're not going to go there. We're going to jump and talk about my issue. Look at this. Keith even signed this. What do you know? What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. And now let's go ahead and talk about it. A little homage to Superman. First... Keith was not a one-man show. There were other people talk working on this book. We have no idea who it was because, as you can see, it's not even freaking said. It is said that he created him, but it does not say who colored it, who inked it, who wrote the words, none of that. I don't know why DC doesn't care. Uh, Julie Schwartz was the editor. <clears throat> Let's start with the art style, okay? Notice, this looks very different from the comic books in the United States and even the comic books at DC Comics. Why? Well, the first thing you'll notice is no 
gutters. There's no there's no gutters. It is panel to panel, all next to each other, and there's a lot of panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten panels in this one page. Very unusual. Very unusual, no gutters. But you can tell he's trying something very different. Yes, there is Kirby reference. There's an influence of Kirby, although this is a great gag, the rings. But also with Kirby, there's an artist called Jose Munoz. Go Google him. You guys, you kids got the Googles. Go Google him and check out Jose Munoz. Very similar. Very, very, very similar to the point where it's like, yeah, this is just like it. That's okay. I have, oh, look at Cheeks. Oh, I miss Cheeks. Cheeks was the wonder toy. I love Cheeks. What a great, great companion. I miss him. I think he's out uh, as a psychiatrist over in uh, Simi Valley. Has a great practice. Deals mostly with divorcees. That's another story. Um, the art is great. I actually love the flat colors. I love the faces. <clears throat> very stylized. Very European. Almost has kind of a Mobius quality to it. Or a um, Tardy. Looks, t look, it's European. It just looks, that looks like could be Tardy. That could be some other kind of Italians or Spanish artists. These profiles. The nose. The way everything, it's very almost surreal and, and uh, you know, like a Picasso. Very different. It's not realistic. It's not proportioned appropriately. But it's cartoons. It's comics. You can play with it. The other thing, he does this all the time. The shadows, except for the nose thing. I don't know what we're calling this. But this shadow head with nose <clears throat> is something... Often, he does. We'll see it again and again and again. But I love it. Um, <clears throat> sorry. It's just really cool the way the angles are changing in this. Look at the level of detail that he's putting in the, in the angles, the change in camera position, profile, worm's eye view, back, Overhead, close, big head, oh, worm view up with the angle there, profile. I mean, just really showing some great storytelling. Love C's pieces. I say Reese's pieces are better than M&M's. Quote me on that, Erwin Schwab. Uh, there I am. Look at me in my little outfit, my costume. I'm a superhero. You know, with a superhero, you need to have a super costume. Love it. Oh, this is great. Call, it's me, Specs. Come closer. So this is the thing. This is humorous. There he is. There's Cheeks. The villain is confessing to my wonder toy. I mean, it's just, it's funny. It's comedic. It was very different. They didn't have comics like this. Now, the sales were through the roof. That's why we have other, that's why this whole damn book is about, about me. Because sales were through the roof. People loved me. They loved the comedy. Look at this. They loved all this stuff. Um, and so therefore, oh, the, this button I fell. Oh, I was so pissed when that happened. So it's just really freaking cool. I really like the way they showed my story. I love this art. And then there's these little like moments where here we have the editor, Julie Schwartz here doing a little bit. So there's these little gags, you know, here's the little ambush bug aerobics, physical fitness. It's almost like little commercials in the story, right? It's almost like a TV show. And here's the little bits or little skits. Uh, this is a great drawing, by the way. I love the way. He drew this really cool and then sometimes you'll see little like um, gears or circuitry circuitry 
and the circuitry in the suit is how that's how I teleport. So I popped in, I'll pop out in a little bit, and then we have data sheet. This is cool too, where you know you get like a who's who kind of stats, background, history of the characters. Oh, by the way, that's not correct. I'm not 5'11, I'm 6'0, and I actually weigh 150 pounds. 138 is kind of on the frail side for a someone my size um, yeah and more commercials I mean I just love the commercials I love the cool stuff happening yeah. and then there's always a gag with my good buddy dark side don't know why it's just a thing I think because of the the great darkness saga that I, Keith did years before this and then that was the big reveal and so I think that's what it is. I think it's just plain gag on that. The koala who walks like a man, Qantas, is one of the the most frightening and terrific and mesmerizing villains of all time. And I love them. The koala that walks like a man. It's brilliant. Oh, look at this. Swamp Thing, DC Comics. No, no. DC Comics. No, no. DC Comics. He's, I don't even know Atari Force. Uh, but it was A, hey, beat, beat Power Pack, the kids, and the, the Doctor Strange guy. Uh, Swamp Things. 84. This was Alan Moore. Beat out X-Men. Wow. Swamp Thing. It's a real deal. Alan Moore. I love it. I love the art. I love this. I didn't know this was European. I didn't know what this was. I just knew it was cool and different, and I knew I couldn't create recreate it. The line work, the types of brushes he's using, the flat these flat head brushes, and or chisel, the chisel markers, all these different things he's doing that I didn't have those tools back then. So I was like, how does he make these like? marks and it does have some curviness to it it does whoa get real shark teeth check that out real shark teeth this is Joni DC my old girlfriend great girl there he is oh cute I love it I love him playing there's Jordan DC. Oh, what a sweetheart. But she gets kind of hurt. Look at that. It's a great, great panel there. <laughs> she, I dressed up as a female koala to woo him. This is great. Hold that pose, hairball. If I miss it, I don't get in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most absurd alcohol-dipped cotton swab. And I love this. Fleming. Fleming is one of the writers or the writer of this story. For some reason, they just don't feel like giving people credit in these books. There we go. Keith Giffen, Plot Pencils. Robert Lauren Fleming, the balloons, the words. Bob Oxner, inks. Tony Tobin, colors. John Costanza, letters. Costanza! And Julie Swartz. Where's Dark Side again? Issue three. Oh, the continuity game. This is where we have, what happened here? Someone used a pencil to my book. Archie comics. These are like different characters that really were, ha that really happened. Just amazing, crazy different worlds. Look at this. This is so cool. I love that they changes these different styles. And again, kind of this 
commercial style stuff. Oh, merchandised. I would love to get a plushy cheeks. So cool. There's soups. Batmite. This is fun. Drawing him different ways, how he how he changed. What is this? England. Oh, this is how they're drawn. So he's making fun of of artists. This is Almighty Buck. Oh, that is supposed to. This art is um. Kevin O'Neill. Yeah, this is Kevin O'Neill. That's the way he drew before uh, Legion of the Extraordinary Gentlemen. France, okay, this is Mobius. Look, that's what we're talking about right now. Mobius does a lot of profile. Yep, that's, that's Mobius. That's Kevin O'Neill. Japan, I don't know what this is just, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's just, just techno-y stuff, I guess. That one's, that one's kind of weak. The Philippines, I'm not, I'm not sure I get this. Um, I know a lot of Filipino artists were doing stuff like Conan, things like that, but I don't, this is the one I don't get. Oh, look at this. How to make teriyaki burgers. <laughs> I love it. This is great. This is so fun. What if, what if Keith had blown his deadline on an issue? Julie may have given this item to Jack Kirby. Yep. Jack Kirby. Ernie Colon. <laughs> it's like Richie Rich. How about Frank Miller? <laughs> Look at that. I'm just in a little face. Oh, Frank Miller, all black with the face. That's great. Steve Ditko. This big Spider-Man. Gil Kane. That's great. Gil Kane with the big nose. <laughs> That's great. This would be a fun page to own. I love it. I love it. How to draw comic books. Lesson 12, the grid and how to use it. Yep, this is the grid. Doing the nine panel grid. Beautiful. What a great page this is. These are great. I mean, you can learn things here. This is like learning. It's jokes. It's funny. I'm going to sit here and reread this whole thing. Just to enjoy it. Because Keith Giffen deserves it, damn it. Um, well, you guys know how we feel about it. Okay, last issue we're going we're gonna to share. And we'll... Talking about the real ambush bug. Then myself. This is great stuff in here. There's some like activity books stuff, you know? So cool. The death of ambush bug. No way, think of something else. Ambush bug in, hard socks. Ooh, is this Argyle? We get into Argyle. Yep. Argyle, the Doctor Doom of the sock world. Love it. I love Argyle. Family tree. <laughs> NBC Peacock. That's awesome. Ooh, are you sure Marv said this was okay, Mr. Bug? <laughs> That's great. There we go. Then we'll do, maybe we'll do more of these later. The stalking stuffer and everything. Um, thank you so much for watching this. This means a lot to me. 
as ambush bug this is my pinnacle i think we need to um celebrate me, me more often i don't know who this guy is who has his channel but why don't you like the video maybe you should subscribe to the channel uh he looks like a big nerd he seems to be dedicating a lot of his life which is very sad to comic books and to making comics and art and things so maybe go check out his patreon and uh, just to make him feel good because uh, we all need love in the world thanks for watching bye <laughs>